Good morning. You had asked how I had gotten into real estate, so I wanted to give you a quick video because I thought that might be the easiest way to get it all out for you. Um, growing up, I was always working with my dad and my grandpa. They weren't necessarily in the trades, but they all knew what they were doing as far as building things. So we were always building an addition, outbuildings, decks, like that kind of thing. Um, so me and my brother were always involved with doing something like that, mostly because you know, you're told to do so as a kid, but I really did enjoy doing it in the building side of things. Uh, from there, if you fast forward from being a kid, my husband and I both built our house uh, when we were like 21, 22 in that age group um, from something I designed it on a napkin and my dad and my husband put it into CAD and made actual drawings and plans for it. Um, so I've always really liked looking at real estate, um, the building aspect, doing the repairs and that kind of thing. And then from there, my husband's also a master plumber. So he started out, he's been in the trades probably for a oh, better side of 20 years anyways. Um, so we've always kind of come by it that way. He and I are both avid readers. So we both read Rich Dad, Poor Dad for different reasons. He read it for fun. I read it as something I was looking to review and I incorporated into a personal finance class. So we've always had an interest in real estate, have had fun looking at real estate and doing that. So I think that book is really what has pushed us forward saying, okay, we could do this and looking at real estate as a way to make an additional income source. So fast forward, we saved up and we had our down payment. We had HELOC on our house that we're using to finance our real estate stuff. And we started looking at houses to get as rentals. Um, so we've looked at a lot of rentals over the years. Um, some we've offered on, some our offers were not taken. Others we've looked at and they're just like complete trash. <laughs> like It's not worth our time for this. Um, so we've done a lot. So over the years we've had... We have full-time rentals, we've had short-term rentals, um, and we've done a few flip houses. Right now, we currently have four houses in Florida. One of them is a short-term rental. The other three are long-term rentals. Uh, we're looking to do another flip house this, in next fall. So right now, we're regrouping and rebuilding from spending a lot of cash on our short-term rental. Um, so that's where we're at with that. The out-of-state ones we have management companies that have always helped us with it. Um, being in New Hampshire and having houses in Florida, obviously we're not running down to Florida to change a light bulb or do something like that. So having those management companies have really helped. Um, over the years, we've had houses that we've bought and sold, never having actually seen them. Um, so we've had houses in Alabama and Tennessee as well. So I look at it as, yes, it's great to go see the property before you buy it, but you're not going in and looking at a company before you buy stock. So you're not touring the company and doing all that. You're doing your online due diligence and research. And those kinds of pieces, you may have people such as analysts that you're looking at their information, uh, different studies and things like that. So it's the same thing with real estate. I don't feel the need to go and actually see a house before I buy it. Um, so we have done a lot of houses that we've bought and sold having seen them before we purchased, not having seen them at all. Um, we also have international property in Belize that we've never actually seen either. Uh, I have received confirmation it exists, so that's always a plus. Um, but that's something eventually we're planning to build there as well. So when looking at what we're doing right now, we have the rentals. Um, our long-term goal is to have enough rental income generating monthly cash flow that we can cut back on our work. Uh, partially retire or change it so that we're only working when we want to work sort of kind of a thing um, in using rentals to do that. So that's basically the majority of our retirement plan. We do have some mutual funds and retirement funds and that sort of thing, but the big piece is our real estate. So with that, we have our long-term properties that we have. We're looking to get some more of those. We're building our short-term as well for the like Airbnbs and that sort of thing. And then flipping houses is something we do more locally here in New Hampshire. Um, so we've done them in Littleton and Laconia, um, everything from buying houses that are completely gutted to just needing a little bit of renovation. So that's what we're looking to do in this upcoming year. Um, use that as a great way to get some substantial cash coming in in a lump sum. Obviously it takes money to make money, so we gotta make sure that we have the cash to do that going forward. Um, but we have some pretty good teams in place for what we use for um, People within the trade, so everything from sheetrock to my husband does the plumbing and the heating, to we do a lot of stuff ourselves, to we've got construction people that we work with, 
and whatnot too to kind of speed that up that time frame up um, understanding that we're also doing this while working full-time jobs and a lot of our subs are also working other full-time jobs too so we do it that way um, and then it creates that giant cash flow when you sell the house um, and then we apply it to pay off whatever we have financed into it to make those expenses and then the profit and whatever um, ideally we would like to do a 1031 like kind exchange we just have never made it work so unfortunately that means we are getting the taxes on all of it for income and that sort of thing um, but that would be the goal I know it's kind of a unicorn as far as tax law and whatnot so depending on the market and everything that's going on so I guess that's kind of our story we've been trying to tried to do real estate for a long time um, and our offers were just denied for various reasons we had one that we thought we were going to buy that was going to be our first one um, the guy kept telling us no 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 never took our offer and then he ended up selling it for ten thousand less than what we were willing to pay for it so that one was kind of a kick in the teeth um, we've had other houses we offer on and we're short and our offer by a hundred bucks you know so it does get kind of frustrating it does take some perseverance to keep going um, that's part of why we started looking outside of New Hampshire, just because prices were better as far as the long-term rentals go. And if you go to other states, you'll find outside of New England, you'll find that the real estate taxes are significantly different. So for example, we had our house in Tennessee that we were renting and it wasn't an expensive property. Probably, I want to say it was like 80 grand or something we paid for it, but our taxes were only 300 a year. So that house in New Hampshire, not only would it have been more than an $80,000 property, but the taxes probably would have been, I don't know, $1,500 a year, something like that, which still isn't terrible. But when you start getting into the bigger properties, um, your three, $400,000 houses to have them in another state versus New Hampshire where real estate is not only expensive, but your tax bases are expensive. So looking at a long-term rental here in New Hampshire, um, we're looking at probably an average of nine months rented before you can even make a profit just because of those real estate taxes. The other thing we look at is states that don't have an income tax. So New Hampshire doesn't have an income tax. Um, Florida does not, Tennessee does not, and some other places we've been looking to invest. So we don't wanna pay income tax and have to budget that into our expenses any more than we need to. Um, so we've got that. So it's some different strategic stuff in that respect. So if you have specific questions, let me know. I know you're doing the wholesale thing and I'm very interested in that. That's an area I have not done. Um, I am on a couple different wholesale lists, so I get their messages when they do have a property available. Um, but like I said, if you have something coming up by summertime, we're gonna definitely be in the market to start looking. Ideally, we'll have something for summer, but more realistically, we're looking for the fall. So if you do come up with anything, let me know. I'm happy to see what you have. So yeah, so let me know if you have any more specific questions and happy to help you. Thanks.